Brian Taylor, owner of Highway RV in Lake Alford, Florida. And today I want to take you on a tour of the new 2017-2018 Coachman Catalina Trailblazer Toy Hauler. This is the 26TH floor plan. As you can see, I'm back on the rear patio of the trailer. Uh, so let's go ahead and pick our tour up here on the patio and we'll continue to the inside of the trailer. Okay, here we are uh, out on the patio of this uh, Coachman Catalina Trailblazer 26TH. Uh, the patio is also doubles as the back ramp, of course. It folds down and is held in place by these big, thick cables. This one does have the option of the fully enclosed um, back patio. And this does have a door that opens right here, and you've got a little latch that uh, you pull that pin and you can latch it like that so little ones don't go out there. Uh, but this makes a really nice uh, area when the weather's nice out. This would be a great place for kids to play and things like that. You've got this screen door right here that has a zipper on it and it also folds up and stows up uh, up in here. So uh, you can have this completely open and rolled up or you can have it completely closed down. Coming on into the inside, of course, this is our our toy hauler section back here. Uh, on this side we have a fold-out couch and then on this side we have the same thing. On this side I do not have it folded down. We have it tucked up uh, up against the wall. You can see we've got a covering here that's actually for the window. This would normally be uh, when this is down you could snap this over the window for complete uh, room darkening. Uh, so this would fold down just like this one over here. We also have a folding table. Right now the folding table is up in the bedroom. Uh, we, we store it on the bed and you can put a folding table here and you've got plenty of room to eat for up to six people. Uh, maybe even more if you had an extra chair you put on the end. Uh, these do convert into a sleeping area. Uh, I'm not going to demonstrate the whole thing but basically this will flip over like this. Uh, you fold the these legs down like that and that will that will fold on down flat and then of course the other sofa does the same thing and you end up with a big flat sleeping area back here that is uh, basically stretches practically from the wall to the wall a uh, really really big sleeping area um, and when this is folded up against the wall you have quite a nice uh, toy hauler area. Uh, to kind of give you an idea of what sort of storage space you have from the time you enter into the uh, into the trailer from the back wall to this point right here to this cabinet is 80 inches. So if it's wider than this area you've got 80 inches from right here back. And now if we're talking about something narrower, like a lot of the gear that you would put in here, a lot of the items you'd put in here are going to be much narrower from the back door all the way up to here is like 16 feet. So you have tons of area. You can, you can break that up however you might want. Um, but you've got a maximum to this area of 16 feet. You have tie-down eyelets uh, starting about here all the way back. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, about a dozen eyelets uh, to tie down uh, all your different uh, gear, uh, your different toys. You've got two swivel rockers right here. Uh, these are not attached to the floor, so these can be moved wherever you need them to. Uh, you could use both of them. You could use one of them. You could use none of them. It's uh, The choice is up to you. Uh, you, you pretty much uh, have this whole area open to be used however you want it. As you can see, we've got these uh, cabinet areas up above here with this netting and then as it continues back through this area you've got your uh, your regular enclosed cabinetry with the decorative glass fronts on it right here you've got your pleated shades and a very nice big window here a uh, huge window Coming on over to the kitchen, you have a full kitchen. There's no sacrifices whatsoever in the kitchen. You've got all the same equipment and gear that you would have 
in a, in a standard Coachman Catalina Legacy Edition. You've got your double bowl sink right here. It is a recessed sink, an undermount sink, so your sink covers fit right in like that. They're custom sink covers and you end up with a nice flat working area right here. Uh, all of the countertops throughout the trailer are thermofoil, so this gives you an idea of what thermofoil looks like. It's got a wood core, but you've got a 100% waterproof enclosure around that. Uh, you could literally submerge this in water and it will not, uh, it will not leak. Um, all of your penetrations, whether it be the cutout for this sink or where it is up against the wall or the ends here, are fully enclosed. You do not have to worry about water creeping into some area, attacking the wood and causing it to swell. In uh, the whole time that we've been dealers for Coachman Catalina, we have never seen a thermofoil cap, uh, countertop come back. In our experience, we've never seen a thermofoil countertop come back with any swelling problems or anything like that. They hold up wonderful. They hold up like a solid surface countertop. Up above that, we have a big bunch of cabinets, a big, two big cabinets up there. We've got some area to store some stuff down below. You do have some of your ducting for the furnace down below there, so it eats into your storage just a little bit. You've got a couple of drawers right here. This is your silverware drawer. This is just another multi-use drawer. All of the drawers are full 100% wood. There's no chipboard whatsoever in these drawers. Coming back, we've got our stainless front microwave right here, our stainless uh, uh, range hood. We've got a real glass tile backsplash. This is not wallpaper or plastic or anything. This is real glass backsplash. You also have a glass uh, a glass cover for your range that just folds back like that. So you have uh, a quite a nice high-end look for your stove. Uh, you got your three burner cooktop right here. One thing that's nice about the glass top is this is actually usable area. Uh, with the metal tops, they're somewhat flimsy and you really can't use that area for very much. With this glass, Got an ambulance going by there. Um, with this glass, you can actually use this area. Now, I'm, you might not want to use a cutting board because you could scratch the glass, but you do have a nice firm substrate there that you could use for uh, for a variety of different kitchen tasks. Down below, we have our oven, an LP gas oven. Back here is our full-size refrigerator. It's a Norcold refrigerator. Runs off of electric and off of propane. Uh, down below here are our few and our breakers so you've got all your 12 volt and your 120 volt um, switching there right here's your co2 lp gas detector over here it comes fully equipped with your television this is a uh, uh, this is a flat screen television. Right here is your stereo, which also has a uh, DVD player built in. And we have these set up so that any picture that is being shown on the television, that audio is being output into this stereo. So you can use your ceiling speakers to make the audio from the, uh, the television easier to understand. You've got some storage below that. You've got a couple of cabinets up above. This right here is your booster for your antenna. We have a rooftop antenna, omnidirectional rooftop top antenna. Right above the camera right now is the air conditioner right here. Uh, this is a 15,000 BTU air conditioner. It is a ducted unit. We upgrade uh, all of our units at Highway RV. We upgrade all of, we typically upgrade all of them to the maximum available from the factory on that model. In this case, the maximum available is the 15,000 BTU, so we upgrade from 13.5 to 15,000 BTU. If it's a larger unit that comes with the option of 50 amp service and a second air conditioner, we go ahead and do that upgrade. If it's got that available, we do it. Uh, that's not Most dealers do not do that because you end up with a unit that may be uh, a little bit more money uh, out of the dealer's pocket and they want to be able to get that advertised price as low as possible, but in Florida, we find that it's 
important that you can keep the unit cool. Um, we're going to value what a person needs much higher than just simply being able to advertise the price lower. To me, that's never made sense. Uh, I would, I appreciate being able to be nice and cool when I go camping, so we always do those upgrades. For that matter, we upgrade practically everything on the trailer. If it's an option that's available, we do almost every up upgrade available from heated enclosed underbellies, uh, you name it, we have, we've done the upgrade. Right here, what is really nice about this unit and different than many, many toy haulers in this size and bumper toe, uh, bumper toe toy haulers in this size is that the Trailblazer has a full walk-in glass enclosed shower, corner shower unit. Most of them that you see are going to have a tub, uh, which is... Uh, can be can be useful, but it's typically much tighter. This is a nice nice size even for big guys um, We I'm about 5'10", 5'11". I have tons of, of headroom if you're a little taller than I am you do have the uh, you do have the skylight above but even corner uh, or or shoulder room you got plenty of room in here nice quality doors nice roller doors so that's something that I feel like is very unique for the Trailblazer and one of the reasons that they are just right out of the gate from the moment that Coachman released them several months ago they've been huge sellers we're going through them quickly they're selling great right here's our mirror medicine cabinet down below we have our sink with a cabinet below that. Over here is our toilet. You've got a, a foot flush toilet right here. Nice big closet behind that for uh, toilet paper, chemicals, linen closet, whatever you want to use that for. And then coming back to the bedroom, I'll go this way. You've got the queen bed right here. You've got storage beneath that. You also do have your spare tire stored right here on the Trailblazer model because we can't have the spare tire carrier on the back bumper because there's no back bumper. We've got uh, we've got uh, the uh, the spare tire underneath the bed. You've got your brown comforter. This is a reversible comforter. You've got black on the other side. Right here is that table that is for back in the toy hauler area, the dining table. You've got hanging storage on either side of the bed with mirrors in those doors and you've got fully enclosed cabinetry up above the bed as well. Uh, you do have a sliding pocket door to close off and give you privacy back here in the bedroom. It is not a curtain but rather a hard door. You also have an area over here for an extra hookup for your television and an area to mount a television back here in the bedroom. So that's pretty much the inside of the 2017-2018 Coachman Trailblazer 26TH. Let's go ahead and head on out to the outside of the trailer. Okay, let's go ahead and continue our tour here on the outside. Uh, again, to refresh your memory, this is the the uh, 26TH Trailblazer by Catalina. It's a toy hauler. Uh, this one is 29 feet 10 inches long. That would be from the from this ball to the back of the trailer. This empty weight is 5,487 pounds, so that is perfect for almost any half-ton pickup. It has a gross weight capability of 7,900 pounds, so that means uh, when you take your empty weight of about 5,500 pounds, you can add in gear up to a maximum weight of 7,900 pounds. Um, so starting up here at the front, we've got our our power uh, electric tongue jack. Uh, it does have an LED light and this is powered so no cranking uh, in order to hook it up. Now let's just say that uh, your battery is run dead or, or, or something like that. You can uh, put a socket right in here uh, or you put your handle right in here and you can work it by um, manual operation so you'll never be stranded. Uh, we got two 20 pound LP gas cylinders under here. I told you earlier we upgrade almost every option available on a unit. We put that option on. One of the exceptions to that is the uh, LP gas cylinders. I prefer the 20 pound cylinders. 
they make a 30 pound option but I prefer the 20 pounders because these 20 pounders are the same size you use on your home gas grill uh, if you run out of propane midway through your camping trip all you have to do is take that run down to the local Walmart Home Depot even a lot of pharmacies nowadays have the blue rhino swap out you swap your tank out for another one and you're back in business no need to go find a place to get your propane filled uh, just feel like it's more of a convenience to have the 20 pounders um, you're going to notice we have a toy lock on these that is a standard feature on the trailblazer uh, this is a cable that pulls out and you can wrap that cable around whatever toys it, uh, it is that you brought to your campsite whether that be a motorcycle um, uh, bikes golf cart you name it you're just going to take that loose you're going to wrap it around and you're going to put it back there you're going to be able to lock your stuff up and that adds an extra level of security and again that comes standard on the uh, trailblazer you also have the radius front end which is a aluminum front end it is not fiberglass this is aluminum with charcoal or black diamond plate below over on the side we have our platinum colored exterior metal uh, you've got the silver with the charcoal and the black it makes a really a really really beautiful um, color scheme there was a time when aluminum sides on a trailer were bare bones white you could get it in any color you wanted as long as it was white and they were plain Jane looking and they were entry-level trailers and that is just how it was those days are gone and I think Catalina has the best looking exterior design on the market uh, for the metal uh, for the exterior aluminum I love the look of the corrugation. I like the silver. I like the charcoal and the black. It's just a great color scheme. And what we found, that in conjunction with the TPO roof that they switched to a, few, a couple of years ago, it's not EDPM rubber any longer. It is TPO, which is an upgraded product. It does not allow black streaks as bad as EDPM rubber. It's an upgraded material. And the combination of the TPO roof with the silver sidewalls, you have almost no black streaks. It is very, very easy to keep clean. We do have a power patio awning on all the trailblazers. I don't have this one out all the way because we have another trailer next to it, but it is a power awning. You do have the starlight system on this, which is a combination of the remote control. It is a remote controlled awning and also remote controlled LED lighting. There is a strip of blue LED lighting underneath this awning and another strip of blue LED lighting on this side and another one on the other side underneath the trailer. So when you have those on, you have a nice pretty blue glow underneath the trailer and a nice pretty blue glow underneath your awning. It is really, really pretty. Um, Back here we have a TV mount. This is an exterior TV mount. We have the other section of the mount comes with the trailer. You just put that on the back of your TV, slide it down in that bracket, and you uh, can plug in your cable right here for your antenna, your uh, electrical right there, and you have a nice outside entertainment system. Right here's our wheels. We do have the new sport wheels on it. These are e-coat wheels. They are not a sprayed, uh, a spray paint type coating. This is a fully dipped wheel. It's a corrosion resistant coating and that wheel is completely immersed in the coating so you have extremely good rust inhibitive pr uh, properties. We never ever see these come back rusty. Um, which is very uncommon if you look at any just about any other trailer on the market after you get a little bit of age on the painted wheels you're going to see that they got rust on them you got to repaint them every couple of years these have looked really really great we've we've seen them holding up fantastic um, so i think that's a really nice upgrade you got your four stabilizer jacks all the way around here you can see the uh, another view of that outside patio all you have to do is you've got a couple of little latches on here that you you step on the little latch right here with your foot you slide this out of there they fold back up against here and then you just fold your door up anybody can do it it's perfectly weighted it's not heavy at all you just fold that up you move this over like that and latch it down and uh, you've got a really um, 
uh, you've got the back end, it's all fiberglass. Um, and that's your, that also, again, doubles as your ramp. Whenever you disconnect this pin right here, it allows this door to come on down to the ground and you can unload uh, and load your gear. You do have these vents that are uh, scattered throughout the, uh, about two or three of these vents throughout the cargo area. You operate them from the inside and it allows fresh air in while you're driving so that if you have gasoline or something like that, it'll keep the fumes from building up. Uh, over here's your furnace. This is the back side of your refrigerator. Right here's your 30 amp electrical plug-in, your city water connection, fresh water fill in order, you know, so where you can fill your fresh fresh water uh, with a hose. You do have an exterior shower right here. You've got the uh, area to clip the head on right there. And right here is your outside cable or satellite hookup. And down below are your gray and black water drains. And finally up here is your hot water heater. This hot water heater does run off of LP gas or off of electric or both. So you can, uh, you can uh, save a little bit of propane when you're at a campground and run the electric side of this. So that's the outside of the 26TH Trailblazer model. These have been great sellers for us already. They're a big success for Coachman. I just knew when they said Catalina was going to be offering a toy hauler, I knew it was going to be a success when I heard about it. And sure enough, they've done a great job at it. If you have any more questions about the Trailblazer, be sure to give us a call at Highway RV. Our number is 863-956-1036. My name is Brian Taylor, but whoever answers the phone would be glad to help. You. you can also visit us online on our website at highwayrv.com. You can also connect with us on Facebook at our Highway RV Facebook page. And also uh, subscribe to us on YouTube. If you like this video, click the like button. It sure will help us out. And uh, uh, if you subscribe to us on YouTube and you set your um, notifications correctly, every time we film a video, you will get a notification that we filmed a new video. And it's a great way to keep up with all the new inventory and all the new stuff going on at Highway RV. So I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video today. I hope it's been helpful to you in making your uh, buying decision. You have a great day and God bless.